What's up guitar fans far and wide? If this reaches you, I do hope all is well. I'm Chris and this is the Session Room, the place of all things guitar. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. Alright, welcome back to the Session Room. I know it's been a minute, I apologize. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do so. Finally giving you the review of the Schecter Reaper 6 in Aurora Burst. And just to let you know, for this review, I'm going to have this guitar in C-sharp tuning and a little bit of drop as well, because how else wouldn't you want to hear a Schecter, right? So without further ado, let's get into the review of this beauty. Whether you play rock, metal, or fusion, the Schecter Reaper 6 is a force to be reckoned with. This red hot axe features a resonant poplar burl top swamp ash body, ensuring maximum natural tone and killer looks. High output diamond decimator humbuckers make the Reaper 6 the sonic equivalent of a flamethrower but still gives you enough versatility to cover all your tonal bases. As for comfort, after experiencing the guitar's sleek body contours, ultra access neck carve, and fast playing ebony fingerboard, you'll have a hard time putting it down. The Reaper 6 includes a Schecter hardtail bridge, Schecter branded tuners for rock solid intonation, eye catching black and chrome hardware completes the package, this is one Reaper that you'll want to meet. Alright, these were made in Indonesia, our color example here is Aurora Burst, we have Schecter branded tuners, beautiful ebony fretboard, our neck material, the 5 ply maple walnut with carbon fiber reinforcement rods, we have offset reverse perloid inlays. We have a scale length of 25.5 inches. Neck shape is an ultra thin C. Our thickness at the first fret is 0.748 inches and at the 12th fret 0.787 inches. We have 24 jumbo frets. Our fretboard radius is 14 inches. We have a black XL Graftech nut. We have a nut width of 1.653 inches. We have a two way adjustable truss rod. Our body colors, we have Aurora Burst like we have here. We have Charcoal Burst. Forest Burst, Sky Burst, and Inferno Burst, if I believe. Our hardware color on this example is black. We have a top contour flat top with a bevel edge. It's right-handed. 
construction, set neck with ultra access, our body material is swamp ash, our top material is burl, and our bridge is a Schecter custom hardtail. Our electronics is a volume tone push-pull three-way switch. And of course, again, we have a bridge pickup with a Schecter diamond decimator and the neck pickup. Our knobs are metal knurled with a set screw and it came shipped with Ernie Ball 10s. Schecter Guitar Research has solidified its elite status as one of the world's premier guitar companies, offering electric guitars and basses, acoustic guitars and USA custom shop instruments to musicians around the world in more than 150 countries. Its continually evolving and expanding line of guitars and basses appeals to a broad spectrum of players and diverse musical styles. Its core business practice offers high quality instruments with professional components at an affordable price. One of the company's strongest assets is its growing roster of high profile artists, including Disturbed, Avenged Sevenfold, The Cure, Papa Roach, Seether, Keith Marrow, and Nick Johnston, to name a few. Then we have some players who I never thought would have played them, like Prince, for example. This guitar first entered the public eye after being seen in the 1984 film Purple Rain. Its origins, however, date back to the year prior when Minneapolis luthier Dave Rusin constructed the one-of-a-kind piece for Prince. Then Prince subsequently commissioned Schecter to remake the cloud in new colors and also tasked the company with repairing his older cloud models. I thought that was pretty rad. Next we have the massive legend that is Pete Townsend. Pete began using Schecter Telestyle guitars in September 1979, first mixing them in with his Les Paul Deluxes which were gradually faded out of the use by the end of 79. These guitars were first Schecter built, then custom built by Roger Giffen, then finally custom built by Schecter. He used these guitars on stage until 1982, plus the gold model on stage for Live Aid in 1985 and with a 1988 TV appearance using a double bound black model. You can also find a Schecter at the Hard Rock Cafe in Chicago that Pete smashed on stage. Another well worth mention is Mark Knopfler himself. This is the Red Schecter Strat that was Mark's main axe from 1980 to 85. Originally it had three original Schecter F500T pickups which were later replaced with Seymour Duncan Vincent style pickups. And in his later years you can also see him playing a Red Telly style Schecter as well. And we should also mention Zach Wilde teaming up with Schecter to release his Wild Audio guitar line.
All right, I'm gonna bring some alone tones to you now. I just wanted to mention before we get into it that I got this guitar tuned into C sharp standard, and we also did a little bit of um, C sharp drop as well. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the humbucker, humbucker mode on the neck pickup. Bucker mode, middle position. Humbucker mode, bridge position. neck position and we're going to just put on a little bit of overdrive just a little bit of reverb as well middle position really honky in the middle position I love it humbucker mode in bridge position For a minute we'll go to some high gain tones just to wrap it up 
All right. We're on humbucker mode in bridge position. We'll add a little bit of delay just to get a so little solo channel kind of going here. So let's turn it up a bit. Let's see what we got. Again, we're on the bridge position. <laughs> on top with Schechter Reaper 6 and I have to say this guitar is just awesome highly recommend it especially with the push pull on here being a Strat guy when I play humbucker guitars it's always lost on me but when you have one like this it's right at your fingertips and I know some guitars with the humbucker and the split coil thing it doesn't sound like a Strat it's more like a gimmick but this one does it great highly recommend it go try one out I think they go for a little over a grand Canadian so yeah Go check one out. I'd like to thank my new subscribers. I'd like to thank my old subscribers. I'd like to thank anybody that watches my videos. Thank you so much. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. There's also a link in my bio for Patreon if that interests you as well. So until next time, keep fit and have fun. We'll see you in the next one.